This has got to be one of the creepiest urban legends I have ever heard of, and mainly because it might just be true. In the southwest corner of Vermont, situated around the Glastonbury Mountain and the surrounding towns, including Bennington, is a roughly 100 square mile area of land known as the Bennington Triangle. And like the Bermuda, Alaska, and Bridgewater Triangle, the Bennington Triangle is full of tons of paranormal claims. Like monsters, Bigfoot, strange lights, strange noises, and even aliens and UFO encounters. But that's not the creepy part. The area that makes up the Bennington Triangle is said to be cursed. And a lot of people have gotten lost or injured or even worse while hiking, camping, or hunting in the Bennington Triangle. But between 1945 and 1950, there was a string of mysterious disappearances in the Bennington Triangle that still haunts the state of Vermont to this day. On December 1st, 1946, 18 year old Paula Weldon was out for a hike. She was a student at Bennington College and she just needed to get some fresh air. And she was seen by a couple who was out hiking on the same trail and they were about a hundred yards behind her. And the couple claimed that they watched Weldon turn a corner and when they rounded that same corner only a few moments later, she totally vanished. And exactly one year later to the day, so December 1st, 1947, a 68 year old military veteran completely vanished while on a bus. He was seen by his family boarding the bus to Bennington, which was his stop. And he was also seen on the bus at the previous stop before Bennington. And somewhere between the previous stop and Bennington, he completely vanished. And all of his belongings were still in his seat and his luggage was still in the rack, but he had disappeared without a trace. And in 1950, an eight-year-old boy vanished from the cab of his mother's truck while she stepped away for a couple minutes to run an errand. The police brought in bloodhounds to help locate the boy, and they managed to track his scent all through the woods till they completely lost it at a trail. The exact same trail Paula Weldon disappeared on four years earlier. 